Hi, my name is Kadeen Fisher. I'm a local realtor in the Montgomery County, Maryland area. Today, I'm here at the Rockville Women's Center. They're a non for profit and um, it's one that's near and dear to my heart. So this video is actually an interview that I'm doing with Amanda Ricketts, who is the operations manager here, so that we can bring awareness and tell you guys all about Rockville Women's Center, what they do, how they operate, and so that you can learn more about them and you can feel free to support them. Thank you, Kadeen. Oh, you're welcome. So how are you today? I'm doing well. How are you? I am doing well. Happy Friday. Happy Friday. We made it through the week. Yes, we did. <laughs> yes, we did. So today I'll just be asking you a bunch of questions just so that we can make the rest of Montgomery County and, and even Maryland and other people aware of what Rockville Women's Center, what you guys do, how you do it, and how you support the community. Okay. Okay, so the first question is, can you provide an overview of the services that Rockville Women's Center offers to the community? Yeah, so at the Rockville Women's Center, we provide option consultations. We also provide pregnancy verifications, which can be used for insurance purposes and in obtaining an OBGYN. We also offer post-abortive counseling, and we have a parenting program which consists of mentorship, and childbirth and breastfeeding classes, along with material assistance. Okay, that's wonderful. That's wonderful. That's actually a lot. <laughs> wow, yes. that's really good. Something for everyone, men and women, families, everyone. Oh, that's good, that's good, wonderful. And what is the mission and vision of RWC and how do they guide your daily operations? Our mission is to empower abortion vulnerable women to embrace life affirming decisions. And then our vision is to be the first stop for abortion vulnerable women and a formidable force in advancing God's plan for a life affirming culture throughout the Washington metropolitan area. Wonderful. And then every day we operate meeting the men and women where they're at and supporting them in any way that we can. Okay, and and that, when you say helping them in whatever way that you can, can you give us like a couple examples of helping some of the ways them. you help them? We help them really go over all their options with the unexpected pregnancy. We also will help them obtain insurance if that is needed. We also have resources to connect them to other other community resources that will help with food, housing, and other things like that. Okay, that's great, that's great. How does RWC support women facing unexpected pregnancies and what resources are available to them? So RWC supports women who are facing unexpected pregnancies by coming alongside them and really meeting them where they're at and giving them the time and the space they need to reflect on the pregnancy. And this is seen through our options consultations, our pregnancy verifications, our post-abortive counseling, our parenting program, and really we connect them with outside community resources as well so they can continue to thrive through the community. Oh, that's wonderful. That's wonderful. Wow, those women are really blessed to have you guys. That is excellent. And can you explain the process and importance of the free pregnancy testing and ultrasound services you provide? Yes. So we provide free pregnancy tests to all the women who mm -hmm. come here. Mm -hmm. And if their test is positive, then they're also offered free ultrasounds as well. Mm -hmm. And really the point in that is to confirm the pregnancy and the gestational age of the baby mm -hmm. so that we can provide them with the appropriate information to help them make a life affirming decision. Okay. For the ultrasound, do they have to be like a certain, at a certain stage, like 
far along, not like far along, but like, is it ever too early to do an ultrasound? Like, do they have to wait like six weeks, eight weeks, 12 weeks? We will see them and do an ultrasound typically anywhere from four weeks and up. Mm -hmm. Just because before four weeks, what you're seeing is, it's very hard to see. Mm -hmm. And to the normal human eye, you probably won't be seeing too much. But a medical eye would be able to tell, this is your baby, this is where it's at. So we do try to keep it at four weeks. So if they come in before four weeks, we will see them, we'll do the consultation mm -hmm. and everything. Then we'll have them come back for another appointment when they're further along for that pre-ultrasound. Okay. Got it. Got it. Okay. Wonderful. How does RWC educate and counsel women on their options regarding pregnancy, including parenting, adoption, etc.? So RWC educates men and women on their options regarding pregnancy. Our advocates and our medical staff utilize two books. They're called before you decide for the woman, mm -hmm. and then before she decides for the men, which goes into detail over the options of parenting, the option of adoption, whether open or closed, and the option of abortion and all the procedures according to the gestational age as well. Okay, okay, that's good, that's good. I like the fact that you get both the, the male and the female involved in yeah. in this this is this is very good yeah, this is very, very good important. it is carry a lot of weight in the decision yes yes they do yes they do but do you do you have a lot of men coming with their girlfriend fiance or wife or most times you have women they come by themselves because um, then how do you isn't it like more challenging if the, the father of the baby is not a part of the counseling? So we actually counsel them both separately. Our men will go with a male advocate and our woman will go with a female advocate. And if the woman decides, then the man will be asked to join her in the ultrasound. Mm -hmm. But that is all up to her, whether that's a man, their partner, an uncle, an aunt, a mom, a dad, mm -hmm. a friend and the rest come alone. And sometimes they might come alone to the first appointment, but then they might bring someone the next appointment, mm -hmm. really all determining. Yeah, it just depends. Depending on where they're at. Okay, got it. Alrighty. How can community members get involved with RWC, whether through volunteering, donations, or other means of support? Great, so we're always seeking volunteers you can volunteer as an advocate. You can volunteer as a receptionist at the front desk, welcoming and checking in people and sending them the documentation. Or you can help in our parenting program with our material assistance by providing and handing out all the materials that the families need. Or you could also be a mentor and that is one-on-one -on -one, and you'll be assigned a client to work with until their child is around two years old. Okay. So it's pregnancy through two years old. Yes. And if they need longer or want longer, we accommodate that as well. Okay. That's good. That's good. Wonderful. And then we do accept donations every day, mm -hmm. whether financial or in kind. And can you tell them like what types of donations, like if someone is interested in donating, can you yes. tell them what types of donations they can donate? Yes, yeah, so for in-kind donations, we take diapers, wipes. For the diapers, we say our primary sizes that go fast are four, five, and six. So that is typically what we ask for, but we do also take newborn all the way up to six. And we also take pull-ups as well for two to three teeth, three to four T and four to five T. And then formula, any formula that is not expired, we also accept. And then we also take donations for cribs and car seats that are new or not expired and strollers and then other 
hygiene products like shampoo, soap, and things like that. Okay, that's great. That's wonderful. And what if some people would like to donate like money? Would they, is, is there like a certain section on your website you'd like to tell them where to go? If, yes. If they'd like to donate money versus diapers. Yes, and then for financial donations, we do take credit card, cash, check, and you can do credit card through our website, which is rwcdonors.com, or you can mail in a check or mail in cash, or you can also drop it off at any time. Okay, wonderful. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so let's see. Can you share any stories or testimonials from women who have been helped by RWC? You don't have to use their name. You could probably just use like the scenario. Okay. But um, can you at least share at least one success story or testimonial so that they'll know that RWC is doing like an amazing job and this is only like one of like hundreds, if not thousands of success stories? Yeah, so we have one young woman who came to us while she was a part-time student pursuing her master's. She had a husband of five years. They suspected they were pregnant. And so she came to RWC. She did the pregnancy verification, the option consultation. And we saw her through and she informed us that her decision was going to be to abort. We offered her back for a second ultrasound and she came back and she heard the heartbeat. She saw the baby moving and she was happy when she saw that. But then she was still concerned and had her withdrawals because her husband didn't have a full time job. And so he was really pushing for an abortion and she was really busy with school and work. So she wasn't sure how a baby would fit into the life. We actually ended up losing touch with her. And then one day she called us back and said that she decided to carry and she was interested in our mentorship program. Mm -hmm. So then she went ahead and she joined our mentorship program and her family is doing very well. Oh, that's wonderful. Yeah. That's a great story. Yes. And this so is a real many. story. This actually happened in someone's life. Yes. Wow. And we wow. see it all the time, every day, all different circumstances, married, single, expecting, not expecting. Wow. It all, wow. They all have a story. Yes. That's wonderful. I'm so happy to know that like RWC is here to help women who, you know, end up in a situation that they were not expecting. Yeah. And you guys have like all the resources here for them to help them through physically, financially, medically, emotionally. Like that's like an amazing support system that you guys have created for women, you know, who they find themselves pregnant and they're not sure what to do. That's that's amazing. Yeah. You guys are doing a really great job for all these women and in the community. Thank you. We just are trying to empower, educate, and encourage as many women, men, and families as we can and support them in any decision that they make. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. Wow. Thank you for, for doing that. Of course. Thank you. What would you say, what sets RWC apart from other women's health centers in the region? Okay. I would say RWC supports women and men at no cost regardless of their financial, insurance, marital, religious, or citizenship status. And we do it depicting the love and support of Jesus Christ throughout all our work. So that really sets us apart. Wow. That's wonderful. That's wonderful. Wow. Well, before we wrap this up, is there anything else you'd like to say to anyone who's watching or? Well, thank you for taking the time to watch and learn a little bit more about RWC. You're welcome to come to the center at any time. It's been a pleasure speaking with you all. Yes. So again, just so that you guys know, the RWC Rockville Women's Center. Um, today, I interviewed Amanda Rickett. She is the operations manager here. And 
we'll put the information on the screen and in the comment below in terms of the website if you'd like to donate um, to RWC as well as the address if you'd like to drop off like physical diapers baby clothes formula etc we'll we'll also put that information on the screen so that you'll know exactly where you can drop donations off um, or the website for monetary donations. They're doing an amazing, amazing, amazing job for women in Montgomery County, Maryland, and even beyond Montgomery County, Maryland, even in, in other counties within Maryland. The women who found themselves pregnant and they didn't know what to do, they came here, they have received exceptional help and a lot of assistance in so many different ways. And I definitely would like to see more people support RWC because they're making a huge difference, not only in Montgomery County, not only in Maryland, but just in the world. We can make this world a better place literally by helping one person at a time. They have been helping hundreds, if not thousands at this point. So I just wanna to continue to spread the word Please share this video with family, with friends, with everyone and anyone you know who would like to support women and, and babies, etc. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day. Thank you.